hey guys welcome back so in this video we are going to create an app inside our e-commerce project so let's get started with it so here are the few things we are going to do in this video so we are going to create an app called store and then we will register and we'll just follow up with this along with the video so let me give a command over here py manage dot py start app and your app name so that is going to be store hit enter and you will see your app over here so store has been created over here just close the terminal and inside your project that is the e-commerce in the settings.py file just scroll up and you will have this list over here of installed apps so just add your app which you just created over here so say store save so this way you have to register your app name in your settings.py file so here we have created that we have registered the app in the settings.py now we are going to include the apps url file in the main urls file so let me just show you so inside this store if you see you don't have an urls file so you just create it it's a new file urls.py so we need to register this in this urls.py so this is the projects urls.py file and this is our apps urls file so we'll just include that over here say path and we'll just leave that empty and we need to import the include say include and your app name store.urls the file name so save and now you can open this urls.py and here you need to import the path say from django.urls import path so we'll have the url patterns list over here url patterns and here we are going to create our path so you can see we have just included the apps url file in the main urls and now we are going to create the template structure so one thing you have to notice here guys so just follow this structure so inside your app name we are creating a folder called templates so inside templates again create the folder with the name of your app okay so create a new folder called store and just to bring this down I'll just create another folder over here new folder just XYZ okay so just ignore this folder so inside your store templates folder inside the templates again you have to create a folder with the name store so inside this you're going to give your templates say index.html I'm going to say uh, h1 tag hello world save so we have seen here to create the template structure so just follow this folder so now we are going to create the home path and the views and render the index.html template so for that you just have to give the path over here so that's going to be home and here you just need to import the views file let's say from dot import views so views dot home so just copy that and go to your views file here we are going to create a function home and just pass in the request and here you have to just import render it's already imported so just say return render first you need to pass the request and then your template name so that is inside your store and index.html so just say store slash index.html save and just give a name to this path the so name is equal to home save and let us test the output so for that you just have to open your terminal
just close one and here just run the project py manage.py run server and hit enter so it's just started refresh so it says page not found because we have not registered any URL with this blank so we are just going to call our home URL and you can see that template has been rendered over here so this index.html let me just change the text hello hey there save and refresh so you can see that HTML template is being called over here so now let us see how to create the main template so which will be extending and using it for all the other templates so inside your store I'll just create a new folder called layouts and inside that you have a new file called main.html so this will be the main template we will just extend this in all our other HTML files so let me say block I'll just enable that extension search for Django enabled and here it is so this is the block of title this will be the block of the content and this script block of scripts so inside the layouts just not inside the layout here itself you can just create a new folder called inc or includes and inside this we'll have our navbar so navbar dot html and for this we are going to get bootstrap.com and we'll just get the navbar from there go to docs and here I'll just copy the CDN link and this bundle one search for navbar so just scroll down and we will take this yeah this one so just copy that and paste it in your navbar save and close here we are going to include that include store dot inc dot navbar so it's not dot it's going to be slash dot html save and so we have created this template right so let us just extend it in our index.html so you just remove all this thing and say extends so it's inside our store slash layouts slash main.html and you just need to delete this so here we are going to open the block of content and put this thing inside the block so let us check the output so go and refresh okay though this could not pass the reminder let us just check inside your main.html okay this thing has to be in single quotes refresh so here it is so that's it in this video guys so in the next video we will be seeing how to create the models and the model structure for the categories and products table 
So thank you for watching this video guys. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.